What exactly are altars used for? Well, there's a lot of different altars that can be used and if you are a part of any witch community you likely have heard of altars or even have an altar yourself and know about the logistics that go into setting up an altar. First things first, uh, for altars, especially if you have like a lot of roommates, it is not 100% necessary to have an altar that is set up 100% of the time. You can, what a lot of people actually do is they set up a space, their altar space, with their designated items. And people will give offerings or do spell work. And if you do like offerings, especially if it's giving food or shelf stable things to place on there, maybe you'll have it set up for, you know, a few days or however long you feel like. And then whenever um, you feel the offering is complete, then you can uh, um, like dispose of that like, say you made cookies, and you can dispose of those cookies. Some people say it's still okay to eat those things if you like. I mean, it's up to you, whatever you believe. When I do food offerings, I personally, after I'm done using them, I throw them away. The food offerings. But, okay. So you can then, after all of that, take down the altar if you'd like. Or if you can have a permanent space for setting up an altar, that is also great too. I know I have one just over here. It isn't huge. Some people have really nice, elaborate, huge altars. I don't have the space for that. And so, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever you feel drawn to putting in your altar, you can do. So again, some people do use altars for providing offerings and giving thanks to um, any gods, goddesses, deities that one may believe in or just your spirit guides you know whoever and even recently i did um an offering for um just native american people and an native american ancestors in general um when it was around thanksgiving time so just whatever you feel called to do and a lot of people use altars for spell work so you can place spells on yourself or other people hopefully i mean i believe more in like white magic not black magic so i don't um use any evil in my spell work but altars are great for um conducting spells and especially if you have crystals around then that can help amplify the energy a lot of times people use um candles incense sage all of that some people also incorporate any type of salt, which also includes black salt. And a lot of people cleanse or clear the energies every time before and or after use. All in all, do what you feel you're most drawn to.